game is currently still going on. Han Ming Son sent off around a 78 minute or so after his leg breaking tackle on Andre Gomes. Was it intentional, guys? Was it intentional? I think the tackle was intentional, but he did not mean to break Andre Gomes's ankle. I, I don't even know what's going on at the moment, but I know it's a horrendous injury that brought tears to Han Ming Son. Like he was distraught after finding out what had happened after his tackle. That he actually got a yellow card for initially, but after the referee saw the extent of the injury and from what he, you know, was relayed to him from VAR, he had to show Son the red card. And was Son wrong for this? I think he just um, actually got a rush of blood to his head because Andre Gomez had previously elbowed him in the face. I don't think the elbow was intentional, but he was actually trying to keep Son off, protecting the ball, and he hit him in the face with his elbow. Son went down, and you know how Son carries on. These guys always overreact when they get an injury. Or I may be wrong. Maybe I'm saying this because I'm not in the situation, but I still think he overreacted, and play continued. Play continued. I don't think Andre Gomez picked up a yellow card for that. And the first opportunity Han Ming Son had, he lashed out. Gomez running past him and nasty tackle, man. Nasty tackle. I'm watching the game on NBC Sports. Spurs are currently 1-0 up and they did not show us the extent of the injury. It's like, I don't know why they do this, man. Like, come on. We see graphic stuff all the time on the internet or on TV. Why you can't show what's going on we need to be informed we need to be informed but Han Ming Son man think you get two games out for a straight red this may affect Tottenham Hotspur this could definitely affect Tottenham Hotspur this could affect Han Ming Son you know it's, it's hard for a player to go through something like this I don't think he meant to break his leg I think he meant to like take him out like yeah you look at what you just did to me. I'm lashing out now. But I don't think he expected that to happen. It just shows you, you have to keep your composure. You have to keep calm, concentrate on the game. You're currently winning. You're currently in the lead. This could end up costing Spurs a game because there will be a lot of extra time. It's currently not costing them the game, but who knows what could happen. And yeah, guys... I'm making this video while the game is actually still going. Okay. So, it has cost them. It has cost Tottenham Hotspur because Everton has just equalized. Was it Jenk Tucson? I think it was Jenk Tucson who Marco Silva brought on off the bench. And that would be a master stroke from um, Marco Silva who is desperately trying to hang on to his Everton job right now. So, that was a nice ball in. He slipped. And, okay. Who scored that? Okay, it was Tucson. Jank Tucson. And he really needed that goal because he has been struggling. You could say struggling. He hasn't been getting the opportunities that I think he deserved. Because when he came over from Turkey, he was in very, very good form. And then... I think there was a managerial change and then Marco Silva hasn't been using Jenk Tucson that often. So, the Han Ming Son tackle is costly. It is costly. Tottenham going down to 10 men, it has cost them the lead. They have not won an away game since January. They have been horrendous on the road. Both in Champions League and in the Premier League. So... Pochettino, who is under a bit of pressure as well, <sighs> would be quite frustrated. Han Ming Son, man, you got to keep your head, you got to keep your calm. How would this game end up? How would it end up? Will Everton go on to win this game? Or will Tottenham hold on for the draw or even go on to win? But right now, I don't think Tottenham are going to win this game. It was a very, very cagey battle. Okay. A next bad tackle. Okay. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on the Han Ming Son situation. Do you think he did it purposely? Or do you think 
it was just a regular tackle. But from what I saw, from what I, you know, get from the whole situation, I think he did it on purpose, but not with the intention to hurt Andre Gomes. As for Gomes, he's going to be out for quite a while. His season is done. His season is done. I'm speculating right now. He may be out for at least two seasons. Two seasons. So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think Marco Silva will get the sack. Mm, what, what the hell was that? Let me know if you think Marco Silva will get the sack. Let me know if you think Pochettino will eventually get the sack. I don't think so. But I do think the Everton board should stick with Marco Silva. You know, I think they should stick with him. Give him some time. You know, bringing in someone new is not going to change the situation right now. Let him get the best out of these players. But guys, I'm going on way too long. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad.